Hey, what's up guys? It's Oblivion, and uh, I'm here with a video to kind of help you prepare for the free room removal that's coming up. So there's a couple things that I do personally before a free room removal comes up. Um, I take a lot of notes on monsters that I'm enjoying playing with. I take a lot of notes on what teams I think I need to uh, improve. Um, I take a lot of notes in just in general on how to better my account. And I do this right before every free rune removal, or I'll jot something down if I'm noticing, you know, say, say I'm noticing, I don't know, my Steel Fortress team is not 100%. So maybe I need to do something, I need to make alterations to make it 100%. Um, then I would do that. I would make those changes. I would do that to kind of better my account, right? Um, or say I nerfed my Verd, which I did, to see how, what the percentage is that you need in order to make this team not 100% successful, which is 98%, by the way. 98% and it's no longer 100%. So 98% crit rate and uh, Verd no longer uh, makes this a 100% team, which is nuts. It's 2%, but it matters that much. Anyways, super off topic. <laughs> um, the important thing, thing I want to kind of get to, thing I, I want to touch on, is I write it all down on a notepad, and then I write it in the notepad on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring this over here. And I'm going to show you just a little bit of what I'm going on, what I've got going on. So I obviously, I have Vigor and Molly both already built. Actually, most of these monsters are built already. Um, and here, I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger. <clears throat> um, but... I've already got most of these monsters built ready to go. Now, I put a priority list. What am I looking for? What do I want out of these monsters? And how badly do I want them ruined? How efficiently do I want them ruined? Um, now, Vigor is at the top. Um, Vigor and Molly, I'm, I am going to be honest, I'm using them a lot. I'm, in, I'm using and abusing them <clears throat> a lot in RTA. So, because I'm using and abusing them a lot in RTA, I kind of have this thing where maybe I build them better outside of RTA. Because I've been using them in Guild War uh, Offense, Guild War Defense, Siege Defense, Siege Offense, um, Arena, because they pair really well with the Wind Monkey King. Wind Monkey King lead, the two of them, very good team, and it's working out really well right now. So I put both of them as, you know, kind of top priorities. Um, Rika... Uh, I really just need to build her a little faster. All my TOA, TOA hard monsters, were built fast enough to compete in TOA hard. But they weren't built fast enough to compete in TOA hell. So, without putting in a monstrous attack bar boost or whatever, I need to boost a couple of my monster speeds. Rika being one of them. Rika's very good in there. Uh, Tyron's on here somewhere as well. Yeah, he's right here. He's also another one that's really good in there. I don't have Ver or, um, Varad, so I can't use Varad there. But I make this list. Now, Bellinus is on here as a possible, but I don't really use Bellinus outside of RTA, and at least not right now. He is very good in TOA hard. I just don't currently use him there. Um, so we'll have to see on that one. Uh, Tyron, of course, is for TOA Hell. Um, both my homunculus need a rework, so they're going to be for TOA Hell. 
Hey gang, for fun, uh, I've got my Vamp Lord here. Uh, my Vamp Lord is pretty decent. Okay, that's a lie. He's garbage. My Vamp Lord is my most used garbage, garbagely ruined monster I have. I use him in every single rift. And his runes make me sad. <laughs> so I gotta put him on some kind of runes. Um, I've got Malaka on this list. For one, TOA um, hell. And two, for fun. I want to build Malaka and just play around with him, have fun. Uh, Fran. Fran's low on this list because Fran only needs a slight upgrade. Fran's upgrade is literally a matter of, like, do I need... <clears throat> do I need uh, 20, 50, whatever more speed at the exchange of this? But it's like a matter of one or two runes, not a matter of six. A complete overall. Where everybody else is a matter of at least four runes need to go, need to be replaced. Um... Masha's on here. Masha's low because I'm not a huge fan of Masha. Uh, I understand her value as a monster. I just am not the biggest fan of hers, so I don't use her. Uh, I'm going to build her just to build her, kind of test her out again. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll like her now. Uh, Wuchi is another one that's on here that's kind of there for, for a fun thing. Uh, I'm going to do uh, a video specifically on him in TOA, um, on him for a couple other things as well. He's very good in HOH and a few other places. He's a good monster. A lot of people kind of overlook him though, so I want to give him a uh, spotlight. I got Water Monkey King on here because he's Water Monkey King and he deserves to be on here. Uh, he deserves to constantly be getting better runes. Right now I've got him on Despair uh, for the extra stuns, but I'm going to end up putting, uh, taking him off Despair and putting him on Violet. I've got Skogles and Kamoons to go with my other Vigors for Siege Defenses. Uh, I got five Skogles that need to be built. Four? I have four that need to be built, one that's built, and a Tressar that's built. <clears throat> and then I've got Shaman. He's literally only on here to do the uh, the little trick for Necro, which I'll end up doing one time and then never use him again, so I'll probably end up stripping him immediately after that. Um, but I go in and I do this kind of stuff. I do it a lot, honestly, guys. And... I'm kind of always doing this, kind of just keeping count, keeping score on what my monsters need, what my monsters don't need, um, who the best monster I can, you know, to build right now would be. Oh, that's actually a pretty decent rune. It's got the innate attack, five speed. If it rolls well in speed, that could actually be a really good rune. Let's see together. Um, and this is another thing that I'm constantly doing to to prepare for free room removal. Because this is a room that can totally get uh, a react. It's got a max innate attack percentage. So a max roll innate attack. I could easily get a uh, react. Which it looks like it's going to need to because it's not rolling too well. But... Look at your guys' monster box. Figure out the monsters you think you need built. I've done this for my main account. I've done this for my LD account, which my LD account was actually really easy to do since I only have a handful of monsters. Um, but did it for my LD account. I did it for my alt account, my other alt account. Just as long as you keep going on it and you keep kind of trying to have it figured out, it's gonna be. It's gonna work out really well. Keep, you know, maybe you. Let's say you're playing and you pull a Savannah, right? And you're like, "Ooh, I really want Savannah." 
go write down where, like, you want Savannah. Where are you going to use her? That's another thing I do. Where am I going to use this monster? Well, Savannah, I'm going to use an RTA. Okay. Cool. Where else? Oh, well, Savannah, I could also use in Arena, Guild War, and Siege. Okay. Where else? Okay, I can also use Savannah in GB10 or GB12, <clears throat> which I do, by the way. I do use Savannah and GB12. So then you go, okay. As you can see, right there, Savannah's in my top team. Um, I don't, I'm not, haven't been really going for speed clears as much as I've just been going for efficiency with, um, with auto battle, I don't see a point in going for speed clears when I can just go for efficiency. Um, but you can use Savannah in there, and she's really good. Like, really, really good in Giants, guys. Let's say, you know, you pull... Not a Nat 5. Let's say you pull Naomi. And you're like, ooh, I was really looking for a, a Naomi because I need um, a big-time damage dealer. Naomi's really good in TOA, especially on boss floors. Naomi's really good in Giants. Um, so, you know, maybe you're like, oh, well, I just need a big-time damage dealer for Giants and for DOA. Okay, well, there you go. Now you can put her on the list, you say where you're going to use her, and then you know where you should prioritize. If you're not focused on doing Giants this week, or this month, maybe. Maybe you're doing Dragons. And you already have a successful TOA team, and a mostly successful TOA hard team then maybe Naomi's not the right person for you to build. Maybe she goes kind of towards the bottom of the list. Or maybe you're like, ooh, I need more despair runes or more swift runes. Um, maybe you're noticing you just, you know, you need more of those. You pulled some monsters that need despair or that almost every monster could use swift, so <clears throat> maybe you just need some swift runes. Boom, there you go. Now you have it set, ready to go. Those are just some, ti uh, some tips that I do. Um, <clears throat> they work for me. They work really well. Um, obviously, it's not for everyone, and I'm not telling you you have to go out and do this, but it is something that really has been benefiting me for a really long time now. I'm constantly doing this, constantly making sure that the right monsters get built. Because you can only have so many monsters built at once. Um, whether it means that I've got to get rid of building, uh, you know, maybe I no longer have my uh, I don't even know actually. I've all my monsters <laughs> are built for multiple teams. Like all my uh, all my things are built. But say I took runes off of my GB12 team so that my NB12 team could shine. You know, that's that's something that I can consider. Or so I can push higher in um, TOA Hell. Which I don't actually see as a, a huge value for me at this current moment. But I'm, I'm still going to do it. <laughs> because I'm stubborn. Anyways, guys, I don't want to hold you up for too much longer. Um... Make lists, kind of strategize on what you're going to, you know, what you use, what you're not using, and go from there. <clears throat> Prepare for it. It's right around the corner, guys. You're going to want to make sure you have mana, make sure you have runes, and make sure that you guys have a list of monsters that you want ready to go. <clears throat> and who knows? Maybe, just maybe, you'll end up finding that you snuck up on a monster that you didn't expect to get or maybe you overlooked something and now you can actually upgrade this monster and make him really good maybe you pull a room like this and you're able to get uh, 18 speed off of it that's really good 18 speed is really good guys a blue room doesn't matter it's got 18 speed on it that's great yeah, the other stats are subpar. So if it doesn't roll uh, well with speed, you're going to just walk away, right? 
like you just saw me do. But these are all things that can help you prepare for it. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, concerns, questions, whatever, hit me up in the comment section below. Um, and as always, I will, leave, I will be leaving my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Discord down in the description below. Feel free to hit me up at any time or come watch any stream and ask me any question. Um, all my streams are help streams, so feel free to come in and ask whatever you guys want to ask. Um, anyways, that's it for me tonight, guys. Hope you all have a great night or great day, depending on when you're watching this. Um, and good luck this uh, free room removal. Uh, quick note, I do free room removals um, for a limited amount of people every month. If you do one on that list, hit me up on Discord and I will go over the details with you on that. Anyways, night guys. See y'all later.